My name is Annalise Smaby. I'm a psychology and neuroscience major, and I'm from Palo Alto, California. Awesome. So what does sustainability mean to you, Annalise? Of taking action to ensure that the planet can, like, continue to work and that, like, infrastructure that we have can continue to support the planet. Great. And then what is environmental justice? How would you explain it? Um, I think I would explain it as sort of a conjunction between, like, um, environmentalism and social justice, um, and, like, the ways in which climate change, um, disproportionately affects certain groups, and, like, how we can work to change that. That's great. What are some ways that you think Hamlin could be more sustainable as a campus, and what are Hamlin's biggest challenges towards completing the sustainability work? Um, I mean, I guess one example I could see in terms of sustainability, well, actually a couple, um, one would be maybe, I don't know if the salt that we use on campus to um, get rid of ice is like salt that is okay for the environment and for like dogs, since there's lots of dogs that are walking around on campus. Um, and then also there are lots and lots of lawns um, on Hamlin campus that aren't necessarily like native plants. Um, so, you know, maybe replacing those with some more native vegetation would be helpful. That's great. Um, more broadly, what are some problems that you have seen due to climate change? Um, one that I would say is like very relevant right now is how warm this winter has been. Um, it's very atypical, certainly. Um, and back in California, like all the fires and, you know, how like air quality gets terrible is just... I would say one of the most important things that we can do is hold like larger corporations um, and the extremely wealthy more accountable um, because like while there are small changes that we as individuals can make, those bigger powers are um, the things that are contributing maybe the most and those are some changes that we can actually make. Great. And then how would you define resilience? I guess I would say resilience is the ability to, like, continue working and existing um, and, I don't know, thriving, I guess, um, despite, like, strong adversity. Great. And then are there any examples you would see in your field or in your life? Um, I mean, certainly in the field of psychology, there's a lot of conversation about, like, resilience to certain like psychological stressors um and i mean particularly with you know the the state of climate change right now like the stress of having that responsibility as a generation could be related to resilience that's awesome thank you annalise